because I'm going into a situation only with faith, but the head athletic trainer was like, hey man, are you here to try out for football? And that really just gave me a fire and gave me an energy that I'd never forget in my life. Timothy Alexander was walking in faith the first day he came to UAB's athletics training room a year and a half ago with his eyes on restoring a passion. He's been going at it hard, working out and motivating teammates as in the fourth quarter to push to the finish. Let go, so when it comes down to the end of our workout, what I'm doing is just yelling, saying, hey, let's finish the drive. Let's finish everything we're doing. You know, let's finish. We're almost done, but we can't give up right now because we're tired. Timothy has played football since he was five. A stellar talent record at Irwin High School caught the eyes of scouts. But life took a tragic turn for the Alexander family, his 2006 senior year. That 2006 was the worst year of my life. While displaced after a home fire, Timothy's dear brother David died in a car accident. Six months later, Timothy was a passenger in a near fatal car crash. At first, he couldn't do anything. He couldn't talk, he couldn't move. He had to just lie in the bed and we had to do everything for him. Timothy lost strength and use of his legs. It's been a journey uh, from having my car wreck into 2006 to trying to do therapy to the doctors and therapists giving up on me. It's not only considered a miracle he survived, but how he now thrives with faith. I didn't have any stomach muscles. I couldn't balance anything. And so I told God, I said, God, if you build my body back up to a healthy athlete, you know, as you showed me that I would be, I dedicate it to you and everything that I do, I do it for the glory of you and slowly but surely, I just start working out, able to control, able to balance, able to swim again, able to try to stand. We come in and you know we work him out three days a week in here and you know try to make sure that the joints and range of motion is can be achieved. And you know what was the most remarkable was last year when he was able to do leg press. You know and uh, basically we had him to the point where he could stand up on his own. Uh, with his own strength. Everybody always wanted to know, how do you play football in a wheelchair? And as I told them, you know, I play through the hearts and in the minds of my teammates. You know, I'm not physically running up and down that field, but I'm running up and down that field through my teammates because I'm a big part of them and they're a huge part of me. And, you know, that's how I play. He's demonstrated his determination when rallying students to push to help bring back UAB football and other sports. For now, he continues to move forward toward a greater personal goal, like family, a goal his teammates share. One of my things that I'm just working towards now, I want to be able to walk out on the field 2017. I don't know how, but I know he's going to do it. In Birmingham, Linda Mays, ABC 3340.